Hi friends, this is Thomas Lesh with Bonfire Audio. Today I'm going to show you how to take bad words and swear words out of your audio inside of Adobe Audition 2017. So let's take a listen and hear what our swear word is. I save lives. No bullshit. Yeah. Okay, so we've got the word uh, that we want to remove. So I'm going to isolate the track that it's on just to really fine tune on where the bad word is. No bullshit. Okay, I can hear that this is bull. No bullshit. Now they might want the bull, S-H-I-T, all of it out or just the S-H-I-2. Uh, excuse me, S-H-I-T. I'll go ahead and just take it all out. And what I'm going to do is highlight those two tracks, get my razor, and just snip there where I believe the, uh, the cuss word is about to begin. Then I'm going to just highlight the two tracks where audio is coming through. I'm going to mute them. Now, you can do this in the waveform editor and just generate the tone right inside there, but that bakes it in, and that's the other way that you can do it. I like to do it this way because what you can see is I'll j I have a track just for bleeps. And down the road, I have another bleep that's already there so that you can see the way I organize them inside of a track that is then routed to my effects bus. This allows me to, to deliver the dialogue stem to the client with all original audio intact, includes the cuss words. And then on my effects track, it allows me to have the bleeps built in there as well. So that's kind of standard. And therefore, if I just go into the waveform editor and were to f isolate the bad word, and then add a tone, it would be baked in, and then the client would then have that audio baked in. Uh, the tone would be baked in, and I don't want to do that. So, all right, so now I've got the mute there where I needed it to be, so let's take a listen. Loud pipes save lives. No. Yeah. Okay, so the bad word's gone, but now I need to generate a tone. So I am going to... Um, I've already pre-selected my bleep track where I want that tone to be generated. I'll go up here to Effects, then Generate, and then Tones. I'm just going to label that my bleep. Hit OK. Then the Adobe Audition dialog box for Generate Tone comes up. Just select Default. There's other options for different, different tones for different applications. And then you're going to choose for the frequency, the standard is a 1K or 1 kilohertz. So you just type in 1000. 1000 hertz is 1K. Okay. Hit OK. And see, it brings it right in where I left my cursor. I'll just go ahead and drag the duration out to where I need it. Actually, no, I won't be able to drag that out to where I need it because I predestined the duration of the tone. So actually, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to leave this mistake in the video so you can see uh, in case that was to happen on your end as well. So go ahead, back to effects, generate, tone. Okay, label that. Okay. So generally you can keep a, a, a bleep long and then bring it down and that way you can copy paste it later as you might need it. So I'll go ahead and just make the bleep two seconds long at a thousand kilohertz. Hit OK. All right. So now I've got plenty of length on here. So I'll go ahead and trim that down. Let's go ahead and take a listen to what we have. Life save lives. No Yeah. So at that point, it's just a matter of having the tone at the level you need it, uh, at the right decibel level. I've kind of already have this set at negative 8 dB for all my tones. So let me see also. And this one might be louder because it was generated from the client when I brought in the OMF. So yeah, so they're not the same. So I actually would need to then go in and bring the level up of this, uh, of this bleep to match. That one sticks at about negative 19. So I want to bring this, this one a little closer. There we go. Let's go ahead and take a listen. Loud pipe save lives. No. Yeah. No. They do. They All right. So that's how you generate a tone inside of the multi-track editor inside of Adobe Audition. And again, this allows you to keep all the original audio intact. Uh, when the client says, I want to go ahead and have my dialogue stem, but I want the cuss words in it, I can just come up here and uh, select where the cuss words are, 
unmute them. Um, you know, there's other ways that you can also keep that backup as well. But I like to put a marker where all my cuss words are, and that way I can find them easily across the timeline and go in and unmute them. Um, there's, you know, again, there's other ways to organize your sessions to to have it ready for that. And then again, the bleep, I can mute the bleeps if I want to, to have a cut where there's no bleeps and leave the cuss words in. It just allows for ultimate flexibility in delivery of the stem. So thanks, guys. Again, this is Thomas with Bonfire Audio. Hope this uh, Adobe Audition 2017 tutorial has been a help. Have a great day. Be blessed. And we'll talk soon.